All right, so finally, finally, after a few more soaks with the liquid wrench, been able to use this sledge and, uh, and start knocking these out. So that, that's good. It's a really good sign. I can I can finally uh, get on here and, and start polishing a little bit more. These are really going to look good. So, um, man, these were really really seized in there, guys. Like this is that is nuts. Literally. <laughs> but good deal. All right, we're jumping forward today. <clears throat> and I get the uh, get the hardware out of the wheels. And if I can keep focus on it, let's see here. Yeah, these little hex bolts, I need some help finding out where I can get them. I, I've seen a bunch of them on eBay, and they're not, they're not the same. They look like the... The ones for sale on eBay look like the ones that I have in my SSRs, and they're newer, like a chrome plate, and they're they're really uh, kind of gaudy or garish looking. You know, I'm not, not a big fan. These are more of a just a simple retro looking bolt, and I do like the spine on them as well, like to retain that in there, keep it from twisting around. So if, uh, if any of you guys that see, see this video knows where I can get some of these, I'm going to try the hardware store first, see if I can source some. They're fairly expensive to buy stuff like this, you know, like they're, they're much more than I thought. You know, I figured I, I could restore these by dipping them in vinegar. I might try that. Um, my friend Sean says I could do it, but, you know, these look pretty well worn and I did strip a few of them trying to get them out, so I, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Uh, to do it, but might give that a shot first and then see if I can source some but yeah If you guys know where I can get them uh, Shoot me a link below in the comments. Thanks All right, this is the product I'm going to use on here It's called white diamond and I bought this at Walmart last night And if you see this in there or an the auto parts store and it doesn't look like this Don't be alarmed if it's got a like a big clear section about a third of the way up there um it, you you just shake it and it makes this together. It does separate, and it, I think it warns you on there somewhere. Um, but it, this stuff, I, I'm pretty excited about it due to the fact that it has the sealant, and I love the Mother's product, and I actually use it on my headlights. I'll send, send my headlights on my TL down because they're plastic, and... It, it works miracles you know it keeps them looking fresh all year long and like a new car so th this it says is actually good for for headlights too so i'd like to use that with the sealant and see how much longer this lasts compared to the mothers um so we're going to be using this and also i've got these uh these microfiber claws i'm aware there's other pads that you can use that you know make this a bit more of a breeze but i just had these in the back of the car so i'm going to use them and uh give you guys like a before and after on this wheel it's probably going to take about a good 20 30 minutes worth of buffing and really bring the shine out in it so i can't wait okay fast forward another day and this is the outcome from yesterday this was about maybe like 30 minutes worth of of buffing and with a with a terry cloth or microfiber cloth and not not really a lot of elbow grease because my hands were worn out already you could see there's like little micro scratches and stuff in there and so it's not it's not perfect but it's still you know it's pretty good and i actually um did on the other side too i just cleaned it up pretty good but this is not where i want it yet uh, we're gonna do some more some more buffing on here whenever i get this painted this is gonna be the next part and my lovely girlfriend is going to take this up for me. She has no idea what she's getting into. But that should be fun. So painting is next. Now while Victoria is taping the center up for this one, I'm going to start sanding on, on this barrel. And man, I really don't want to get rid of these stickers on here. But you know, these are old and worn out. And if you guys know of how I can source some new ones, um, you know, if I could get them secondhand and not from Hayashi Racing, I'm sure they're probably expensive for a sticker, but I don't really, I don't have a budget on that. You know, I'll buy them at full price if I have to, but if you guys know that they sell them, somebody give me a comment and let me know. I'd really like to know if they still have them on there because I haven't really found much on their website in terms of these old wheels like this. But I'm <clears throat> going to do both sides of the barrel and get the lip really good. 
but this one is likely as good of condition as it's in probably going to flip this one and it might go on the rear and just have that extra width just to see what it what it looks like but the entire barrel is going to be polished about to start with 320 and do the same as the center and work my way up from there see if we can get it to shine out all right everyone jumping forward in time again and uh, I just recorded this and my girlfriend totally ruined it um, she she video bombed me and I'm not gonna say what she did but it was really funny I should have left it in there but I'm not going to she'll kill me but the, this is pretty much the, the condition of the wheels uh, when I got them. And we're just going to show you guys this very quickly. Uh, I broke down and went to Harbor Freight, picked up some stuff uh, for my drill. And I got a, um, I, don't, I really don't know what it's called, but it's like a, it's like a scotch pad, but it, but it goes in your, your drill bit. And it really cut the time in half of sanding on these especially the initial part now of course doing the finishing touches you know getting the the small scratches out that that's I, I had to hand sand that too but that that was fine like it totally cut down all the rigorous sanding that I was doing plus it saved my hands and I had I was wearing um, those gloves and it was still wearing my hands out doing that so anyway th this is what they they look like originally and just to show you the back here since I'm going to be polishing the uh, the entire barrel, um, you know this looks really rough after it's cleaned up. You know it's it, it looks okay. You know there, there's no like really bad pitting or um, scratches in there, but this just goes to show you that these wheels you know, or wheels like this, you know they may look rough and you can get a good deal on them while they do. All you need to do is spend a couple of days, if not just one solid day, if you have the time, to recondition these. You know and to fix them. So here's the uh, here's the finished product and the here's the center and this was done more than the barrel in terms of of hand sanding uh, this was the first thing i worked on and i was going from uh four i think i started with 320 then 400 600 800 1000 1500 then 2000 and 2500 that's overkill you don't need to do that much and even after doing all that by hand, you can see like there's there's very minor like little scratches and stuff that's still left there. And plus I've been handling it so it's not fully clean. But this was um, something that could have been corrected early on, but it, it was just probably a rock uh, or something, you know, it hit the wheel. And uh, But I'm not going to take that out. I mean, these look, they're patinaed anyway from all the years that they've been in use. So might as well leave that. Plus, this is just a job that I'm doing basically in my front yard, and it's just one one guy doing it at home. You know, it's not professional. The paintwork, my girlfriend, she had, she taped the, the centers up, did a really good job. I used Rust-Oleum gloss paint on there, and it looks almost like it came from, from the Hayashi, you know, factory. And I've had, I took a, uh, I took a plastic spoon and was like tapering off the, the edges a little bit because I had some overspray. Got a little bit of work to do on there, but I did also on the on the back, I had just like scotched that up. Probably gonna do some polishing back here too, just to make sure that it's sealed really good because the corrosion is, um, is setting in back here behind the wheel. And once these are set on the barrel, and you don't want moisture getting back there and just setting in because as the years go by, that's gonna start doing some damage uh, to that so but this is the barrel and the, like I said this is not as aggressive of sanding like hand sanding is what I did on the center and it, it's largely because of, of me buying those bits at Harbor Freight and then the polishing kit too and, and later on in another video when I'm doing more of this work I'll show you exactly what I bought but the um, with this I, I started with the uh, I think it was the equivalent of 400. Um, I didn't use the the uh, the harsher grade on there because this one had already been hand sanded some, but it just it, it buffs it right out. You know when you've got uneven spots and stuff, it took it right out. It did leave like a wired um, brushed look on it, so I didn't want that. You know I wanted these to be smooth polished. I jumped right into 800, I believe, uh, on these after that. Probably should have hit it with 600 first because there's still just micro scratches on there. But um, the front turned out really well after I used the polish, the polishing compound on there. And then, of course, I used the white diamond with the buffing wheel. 
and let's flip this over so there's the back and that's just a phenomenal difference uh, compared to what they were and you see there, there's still some spots in here you know, where it um, where there's some pitting and stuff on there but once again you know these are these are 40 year old wheels and they can come out looking this good and so they're going to have a, a slight patina to them you know and the car does too but I hope that that shows you all that, you know, this there, I know there's tons of videos like this online, but you can do this at home. You know, it's, it's really, it's simple. If you've got the right tools, do yourselves a favor. I know I, I ran it on and on about, um, doing that by hand and you can do it by hand at home. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're going to save yourself hours, literally hours of just sanding and sanding and sanding. And plus, you know, if you've got a girlfriend that wants you to spend time with her, like I do, She's um she's gonna be much happier in the end because you're not gonna be out there all day and she's not gonna be, you know, really uh, ragging on you to get back inside. So hope this helps you guys out. See ya.